When I was 13 and I started getting into all of the media and fiction that would shape the rest of my life, I started listening to the comedy band Ninja Sex Party, who at that time were just starting to get popular. Their humor was juvenile, their videos were goofy, and all of it was unapologetically genuine. I couldn't get enough of songs like Dinosaur Laser Fight or FYI I Wanna F Your A. Learning the lyrics and even going to MAGFest in 2016 with my friends, specifically to see them play live. Joining them at that concert was another band who I had recently started listening to, but who would soon enough become not only a staple of NSP's future sound, but would also become one of my favorite groups. They were weird, funky, and focused exclusively on putting out positive vibes. That band was Tupperware Remix Party, also known as TWRP, Twerp. Hailing from the 1980s and also the future, Twerp is an intergalactic robo-disco band with influences spanning the dance scenes of the 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s and from across the world. They embrace the nostalgia-based vaporwave movement, implementing guitars, catchy beats, obscure yet familiar samples, and even a vocoder box. <clears throat> That last instrument is played beautifully by band leader Dr. Sung, a traffic coned inspiration to us all. Accompanying him on a journey of fun and rock and roll is Lord Phobos on guitar, Keander Miouch on bass, and Hav Hogan on drums. These best friends join forces across time and space to fight the forces of boredom and despair, bringing joy and dance parties wherever they go. Their elaborate backstory is only part of the fun, because Twerp is also a technically entertaining band. Their music is extremely well crafted, managing to mix synthesizers, bass lines, and positive lyrics to capture the disco and funk aesthetic while adding their own fantasy, futuristic spin. Their live performances are even more fun, implementing comedy. Let's ditch these pants, stat. Yes, indeed, you see, we come from a future where pants have been totally outlawed, because fuck pants. Fuck pants, am I right? Synchronized dance routines. copious amounts of impressive solos. to create instant dance parties at every venue. Clearly, Twerp is a fun band, and I love them with all of my heart, but what I want to look at is what about them makes them so endlessly fun. I want to understand how I can listen to songs like The Hit or Lady World every week since their release, and yet they never get old. I believe this comes down to not only their musical ability, but also in their commitment to spreading positive messages. Every Twerp song can be put in a few categories. You have the love songs, usually about the singer expressing their interstellar love for someone, finding new sci-fi terms to compare these feelings to. Then there are the environmentally conscious songs, where the band mixes dance beats with life-sustaining lyrics. There's their fantasy songs, which show a clear love for choosing media from the 80s, often feeling like Saturday morning cartoons put to a funky beat. They also have instrumental tracks, often feeling like the soundtrack to an 80s action movie. And last but not least are the positive messaging songs. These are often some of Twerp's most effective songs, encouraging listeners to believe in themselves, to accept and love their body image, or to simply celebrate the gift of life. All of these songs have one thing in common. They have a positive attitude towards life. Twerp is an endless well of happiness, positivity, and self-love. Their love songs are full of joy and passion. The environmental songs are fun rather than preachy. The fantasy songs are imaginative, and the instrumentals set a nostalgic tone. And of course, the positive messaging songs are nothing short of inspired. They rarely come off as cheesy or insincere, feeling more like a group of friends coming together to boost your self-confidence. You should love your body. Aren't we all lucky to be alive, to be able to live in our current time, to know great people and experience great things? Twerp always manages to find the best in life and find a way to bring the best out in people. The lyrics fit the music perfectly with grooves that are easy to dance to. Life Party is energetic and fun, showing how life is like a party and we should treat it as such. Body Image has a slower pace with a killer guitar solo, encouraging people to accept and love themselves and hidden potential is nothing short of a futuristic eye of the tiger.
Even in songs like Pets, which is about dealing with the loss of a favorite pet, Torp still manages to find a silver lining. Even though this friend is gone, they're in a better place, and you will see them again someday. The music itself is still energetic, beginning with a slower pace until building to an uncommonly emotional keyboard solo. It's songs like this and their other music that always manages to put me in a good mood, no matter the subject matter. I find myself awkwardly dancing and horribly singing along whenever these songs come on. Twerp often captures the party-loving and bizarre logic of one of my favorite bands, Parliament Funkadelic, the creators of P-Funk and grandfathers of the G-Funk sound in hip-hop. Their lyrics are often nonsense, the concepts for their albums are fantastical, and clearly inspired by hundreds of psychedelic drug trips. More importantly, every song from George Clinton and his Afrofuturist band encourages listeners to embrace good times. As they say, Ain't nothing but a party, y'all. I believe the power of both Parliament Funkadelic and Twerp comes not only from the funky music or the positive vibes, but most importantly from the clear sincerity these songs are created from. Having seen Twerp live in concert three times now, it's clear to me that the band truly believes the things they're singing about, as they put a lot of work into these performances. They play all their music live, including Dr. Sung's vocoder, every song has synchronized dance moves and poses, and in between each song are a mixture of planned jokes and improvised audience ad-libbing. These funky musicians are having the time of their lives, and they want nothing more than to spread that fun to every single person in the audience, at the venues and listening at home. The shows are fun because the audience is usually ready and willing to go along with the fun. Everyone sings, dances their hearts out, and continues to spread the positivity even after the show. I've had great conversations with many of the people around me during twerp performances, and even during the line getting into the shows. While my own anecdotes aren't concrete science, I believe this shows how effective twerp are at not only conveying their positive message, but also ensuring it sticks with their audience. As you can probably tell, I know nothing about music theory or can explain in technical terms why one song works and another doesn't. What I do know is how music makes me feel, and Twerp improves my mood and inspires me every single day. They've helped me through some tough times in my life, often reigniting the fires of inspiration and self-respect within me. On the outside, Twerp may look like a goofy disco funk band that embraces the vaporwave aesthetic, and that is true. But once you dig deeper into their discography, and importantly get a chance to see them live, you'll understand that their real mission is to spread positivity through the power of good music and dance. With the way the world is going, with its anxiety inducing uncertainty, it's always nice to have something that can put you in a good mood. At least for me, Twerp accomplishes their mission with flying colors.